has won the gold medal in women's figure skating in every other Winter Olympics since 1960. If that tradition holds true again tonight, well, it'll be a victory for Rosalind Sumners of Edmonds, Washington. However, the issue is very much in doubt. At Zetra Arena, a tremendous crowd has gathered absolute capacity there. And among them, Al Michaels, and here he is. If you'd like to draw a crowd in Sarajevo tonight, uh, just hold up an extra ticket for what's taking place at the Zetra, and they'll come flocking toward you, because as is the case in any Olympic Games, one of the hardest tickets to come by would be those for ladies free skating. That program coming up tonight at the Zetra Arena, and a look at the standings now following the compulsories and the short program, which account for 50% of the overall score. The standings show Katarina Vett of East Germany leading. Rosalind Sumners of the United States is second. If either of those ladies wins the long program tonight, they'll win the gold medal. Kira Ivanova of the Soviet Union seeking a medal. She would need a lot of help, though, to win anything more than the bronze. It appears to be a two-way battle. Let's put things in perspective now that we are ready for the finals in ladies figure skating at the Olympic Games. Over the past couple of years, uh, a lot of people were looking forward to tonight and figuring that it would boil down to an American battle for the gold medal. The athleticism of Elaine Zayak, the artistry of Rosalind Sumners, we heard a lot about that. We heard uh, a little bit about Katarina Vitt, uh, more and more as the uh, years have gone by now, but most people thought she uh, would win the bronze, if anything. And also, we've heard a lot about Tiffany Chin of late. Elaine Zayak uh, put herself in a very tough position. She was 13th after the compulsories, comes in 11th overall tonight, has no chance to win a medal. Tiffany Chin, who uh, was terrific at the Nationals in Salt Lake City in January, skated a great short program the other day. She is currently sixth, has an outside chance to win a medal. But what everybody is talking about tonight is who will win the gold. It's a great head-to-head -head battle between Katarina Vitt, the East German, and Rosalind Sumners out of Edmonds, Washington, who is the reigning world champion. Peggy Fleming, of course, won the Olympic gold medal at Grenoble in 1968. What sort of a feeling do you have about what will take place tonight, Peggy? Well, I think tonight is a real pressure cooker for all the girls. Uh, basically what has to happen is Rosalind Sumners has got to beat Katarina Vitt in this long program and it's going to make all these girls very very nervous because they all want to skate very well and both of their styles are, are somewhat similar. Katarina has a very European athletic you know kind of feminine style. Uh, Rosalind has that blend of athletic and artistic elements that you know she is so polished but um, it will, it's not, you know, the battle of the artistry uh, versus the athletic. I think both of these girls are, are pretty well matched. But Tiffany Chin will, will me be a, a little bit of a surprise. She is just stunning on the ice. She has that uh, wonderful athletic ability and does beautifully high jumps and has such a gorgeous carriage to her skating. So it'll be exciting to watch her, but they're all going to be real nervous tonight, I'm sure. Well, Tiffany, hoping for a bronze, but as far as Vitt is concerned, and also Sumner's Vitt first, Sumner's second, is there more pressure on one than the other? I don't think so. I think both of these girls are extremely nervous because anything can happen, and it's all up to who skates the best tonight in the long program. Well, certainly a man who uh, knows what it takes to be a champion is the two-time Olympic champion, Dick Button. Uh, the stage is set. Uh, each of the ladies knows what they have to do. What sort of a gut feeling do you have about what will take place tonight? Um, I never answer that question, but I will tell you that I think it's the tightest competition, the most unpredictable competition that I've seen since 1956 at the Winter Olympic Games in Cortina d'Ampezzo when Tenley Albright of Boston battled Carol Heiss of New York, and nobody there could bet on the outcome, and I certainly know that I'm not betting on the outcome tonight. Of course, Katerina Vitt has a little bit of an edge because she is leading, but the two girls are very close, and it is simply a matter of how each of them skate. There's one other point, I think, aside from the medal, that makes it very interesting to watch with these two girls, and that is something which is something that skaters look for, and that is the ability to get down into the ice, the, the, the quality that makes you a skater's skater, the deep edging, the flow, the fleetness over the ice, just the quality of the way the person moves across the ice, not jumping or spinning or arm movements or anything of that nature. And I think, as far as that is concerned, that Katerina Vitt has a wonderful kind of deep quality. She's a very tall, strong, and powerful girl and you want them to be up but you also want them to be down into the ice 
Rosalind Sumner, on the other hand, has a very, that, that marvelous, cool, Grace Kelly kind of quality that we've talked about before. She kind of floats over the ice and doesn't even seem to kind of relate to it a little bit. It's a balance between the two girls, which I think makes watching them quite interesting. And of course, it's what all skaters look for. Well, it figures to be a fascinating battle. And uh, one thing is certain, we will have a very dramatic conclusion tonight because the final two skaters of the evening will be Katarina Vitt and Rosalind Sumner's.